So in our last video, we have seen that how to use chat GPT on our ESP32 board. And now in this video, we'll be adding a new feature to this project using which you'll be able to listen to the responses coming from chat GPT. Let me show you a demo. So here's the speaker connected with our ESP32 board via this I2C audio amplifier. And here is our serial monitor from which we can ask the question. So I'll ask the question, who are you? And let us wait for the audio feedback or audio result. I'm a person who is interested in learning and exploring new things. Wow, so that was the answer given straight from ChatGPT and you can see the text as well and this text is converted into speech. Awesome, right? Isn't that interesting and more useful than before? And while making this project, we'll also be learning about how to use the I2S audio amplifier with ESP32 to do text to speech conversion, through which you can convert any string based text into speech by using Google TTS services. Well, that thing can be used in many different projects. So stick around with this video to learn something new. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by LTM and they came up with an amazing product called as LTM 365. So LTM 365 is an electronics product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAD, data management and teamwork. So with LTM 365, you can do the PCB designing task. You can share your projects over web for review purposes. It do cover sharing your PCB file to mechanical team so that they can create the mechanical product package based on your PCB. Then it also provides centralized cloud storage so you don't need to rely on one single computer for your files. It also helps you with managing your components and get real-time supply chain data for your components. It also allows multiple people to work on single project. And in the end, it also helps you with sending your design to final manufacturing units. So LTM 365 takes care of all other tasks so you put more time and effort in making something creative and useful. And the good part is you can try out its free version as well. I'll leave its free trial version link down in the description of this video so do check that out. And now let us start with this video. So now for making this we'll need an ESP32 board, an I2S audio amplifier module and a 4 ohm speaker. Now all these things are available on our website whose purchase link is down in the description. You can order it from there and it will be delivered at your doorstep. Now for getting all these components, you need to connect them all according to this connection diagram. Now first, let's learn how to convert any text into speech using our ESP32 board and here is the sample sketch for that. So this is the same sketch or kind of a same sketch that we have used for our internet radio project. Well, if you haven't checked that out, it's a very interesting project. Its link is down in the description. Do check that video out after completing this video. Okay. Now this code is almost same as that of the internet radio project, but there's only one single line uh, of change in this code, which is audio dot connect to speech. So earlier we were using the function audio dot connect to host and we'll be providing the URL from which it will, it was playing that uh, MP3 file. But now here we are providing audio dot connect to speech. And here we need to provide this string format of our uh, text. And here we need to provide in which language this string is. And basically it is using the Google text to speech conversion. So it will be calling all those APIs in the background and will be able to hear this particular string in the audio format. And this is the simple code for, uh, you know, converting any text into string thanks to this audio.h library, okay? And yes, make sure you provide the Wi-Fi credentials here inside the Wi-Fi.begin function. Now I will be providing this basic example code also in the description so that you can use this for may maybe any of your other project, okay? So here I'll be uploading this in my ESP32 board whose board is already selected and write com port is also selected. I'll straight away hit the upload button. Okay, so the code is successfully uploaded. I'll open the serial monitor and let us wait for the audio. Hello from Sachin Sony. So yeah this is what it was written here hello from Sachin Sony and it was converted into speech uh, using Google TTS service and we were able to hear that audio so this is how you can convert any string into the audio files and this code will be using for our chat GPT version as well so I'll be getting the answer from the chat GPT will be filtering out the required text from the whole uh, you know uh, JSON format and message and will be converting the text into speech <laughs> let me show you the code for that as well
Okay, so this is the code using which will be able to hear the answer coming from ChatGPT. And now I'll let you know what changes I made as compared to the code which I used in the previous video. Okay, so here I have used two new libraries. One is the Arduino JSON and another is the Audio.h. Audio.h we already seen is responsible for uh, taking out the audio feedback or the audio responses. Okay, and Arduino.json is used. It's just because the response we are getting from the ChatGPT server is in JSON format and to fetch out the data from that JSON formatted data we need to use the arduino json library okay we'll further see how to use this json arduino json library in the code okay after that we are providing a couple of details like they said the name password the chat gpt token the temperature and the max tokens okay this all thing we already discussed in the part one of this video straight after that uh the setup part is pretty common just connecting to the wi-fi and beginning the audio uh you know configurations through the i2s amplifier after that inside the loop what we are doing is it will first print ask your question in the serial monitor and after that it will wait here until and unless we provide any question to our serial monitor okay so here i've written while not of serial dot available it is just running the audio loop so all the audio related tasks will be running in the background and the code won't go ahead of this as soon as we provide any question it will move ahead it will store that question into a string named as question and it will print that inside our serial monitor. So we have given the question. Now what it will do is it will just make an HTTP POST request with a particular question that we ask, with a particular temperature and the max tokens value that we have already defined. After asking the question, uh, we will be waiting for the response from the chat GPT server. Now, as I said, the response is coming in the JSON format and we need to uh, you know, deserialize that JSON formatted data into normal string or integer based data. And for that, we need to use the JSON library. So here we have created a doc and we are, you know, uh, storing all the data coming from the server side, which is initially stored in the payload and we are transforming it into the doc object. After that, we are fetching out our answer from this uh, particular JSON data. Okay, so our answer was you know, stored inside the text uh, key value pair. Okay, so after storing the answer into the string called as answer, what we are doing is we are using a substring of two because the first two characters of the answer coming from chat GPT is nothing but the new line character and we neglected that. After neglecting both the characters, the final answer is printed on the serial monitor. And not only that, we are also speaking out that same answer by providing it to a function called as audio.connect to speech, which we have already discussed in our last code. And it will be speaking out the answer in the English language according to the Google text to speech translation service. And that's how we will be able to listen to the answers coming from the chat GPT. Okay. So through the code wise, it looks uh, like it, it should work, but still let us upload this code and see if it actually works or not. Okay, so the code is successfully uploaded. I'll open the serial monitor and it says connecting to Wi Fi connected and it is asking for our question. And now it won't move ahead until unless we ask the question. So let's just ask a simple question like, Who are you? Okay, question mark. And as you can see, the question is printed here. Now let's just wait for the Wow, it says I am a human being, which is printed here and it was spoken by the speaker. Let's just try to ask another question like who is, who is, who is, who is Techie SMS? Techie SMS is a technology blog that provides news, reviews, and tutorials about the latest. Okay, so this was the string response, uh, you know, received by our ESP32 board. Now, as I provided token as 20, like max token as 20, it received this much amount of data only. Okay, but yeah, we were able to listen to the audio feedback. Let's just try to uh, increase the token and listen to the bigger answer. Let's just increase the token to 40 and re upload this code. Okay, so code is successfully uploaded with the max token as 40. I'll ask the same question once again, like who is Techie SMS? And let's just wait for the bigger answer. Techisms is a technology blog that provides news, reviews, and tutorials about the latest tech trends. It covers topics such as mobile phones, computers, software, hardware, and more. Well, the answer was uh, a bit inaccurate, obviously, but yeah, our agenda was to speak out that answer using the text to speech conversion. And we are successfully able to do that. Like we are successfully able to listen to the answers coming from chat GPT. 
एक लाइक तो बनता है यार फॉर दिस अमेजिंग प्रोजेक्ट यू गिव सो मच लव टू आर फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ यूजिंग चैट जी पी टी ई एस पी थ्री टू एंड दिस इज अ सेकंड पार्ट लाइक हियरिंग द चैट जी पी टी आंसर्स फ्रॉम ई एस पी थ्री टू डो गिव अर लाइक टू दिस वीडियो ऑल्सो कमेंट बिलो दिस वीडियो लाइक वॉट शुड बी द थर्ड पार्ट लाइक वट आई गेस इज थर्ड पार्ट शुड बी इट शुड बी इट it should be an individual project an independent project where we don't require any kind of uh, laptop computer or mobile phone and we can provide question to esp32 directly and getting the answer like getting the answer part is clear now there are two ways either we can provide the questions using a microphone or we can add an external keyboard or something like that what do you think what should we make as a part 3 of this chat gpt series well do let me know your suggestion down in the uh, down in the comments of the video because i too love this project and many of you people also loved this and we got a many new subscribers using this chat gpt series so do let me know what next should we make for this part of chat gpt using esp the turn yeah that was it about this video and i am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video and then explore learn share with me take ye sms